Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to the West Midlands Police Dog Unit display here for you this afternoon. We're going to take you on a journey, a journey through the police dog's life from the puppies that you see in front of you now. So we have Puppy Walker Marie with police dog Blade, who's 14 weeks old. We have uh, Puppy Walker Kelly with police dog Asa, who's three months old. Puppy Walker Cass with uh, police dog Trotter, who's a working cocker, who's six months old. And then Puppy Walker Luke with police dog Rio, who again is six months old. And then we have PC Karen Smith with police dog Troy and 11 month old German Shepherd dog. Puppy Walker Dave with police dog Savio, so 12 month old GSD. And then lastly, Puppy Walker Ted with police dog Ice, who's a 12 month old Dutch haired bitch. Okay, these dogs are from the West Midlands Police Dog Breeding Scheme, one of the largest breed schemes in the country for police dogs. And we're very lucky to have such a large scheme and we are self-sufficient in the supply of our own dogs. But I mentioned the journey. So, shortly coming on now, you'll see uh, Mr. David Raymond and PC Terry Arnett. These two gentlemen are two of our breed scheme managers. And they liaise with the puppy walkers and work with the dogs. And they're, you're going to see them now working some of our younger dogs up into the older dogs. It's very important to us that these dogs are balanced, happy in what they're doing. And with the correct level of instruction, the dogs are nice and controlled and understand the exercises that they're about to be asked to do. OK, what you're seeing now is they're using some equipment called puppy raggers and they frustrate the dogs into a nice sitting bark and then when they display the correct behaviour they're rewarded by winning the toy. And we'll see that again. So we've got Dave there showing a bit of a chase back. So the dog is frustrated with the toy. Dave will then run off. The dog will be released. There we go. And it's rewarded with a bite on the toy. So that's the younger dogs, so police dog Troy, police dog Rio. Okay, so coming on to police dog Savio and police dog Ice, these dogs are a little bit more advanced, and you'll see them now onto a bite pillow, which is a harder toy for them to, to uh, bite onto. And if you look at the bite that they actually have there, it's a nice full mouth bite, so the toy goes right to the back of the mouth there. There we go. So Dave, if you can just pull Ice up there, we can see the nice full mouth bite which is good and solid. What we'll move on to now is, again, a bit of a chase back, so Dave will frustrate the dog, and Terry will frustrate the dog, and then we'll run off. The lead will be dropped. A nice, good attack. There we go. It's very important that we ensure the bite is fixed. That's lovely. There we go, they love it, really. Look at that. So you'll let that go. And then we'll have a bit of a straight chase, so the dog again, the helper runs off, dog's deployed. There we go. There goes Ice. Well done. That's lovely. Police dog Savio, Puppy Walker Dave, and Police dog Ice with Puppy Walker Ted. Super. Right. Okay, it's not all about the pups and the biting and whatnot, so what we're going to show you now is some work with our specialist dogs. On my left, you'll see PC Neil Cherrington and police dog Noddy. And on my right, you'll see PC Keith Bennett and police dog Heath. Noddy's a three-year-old uh, English Springer Spaniel, and Heath is a, a seven-year-old English Springer Spaniel. So what these dogs are are drugs dogs. They search for cash, firearms, and drugs. And that the handlers now are going to work their way up the side of the arena. And if you watch the dogs closely, they're quite happily searching away, working away. We think they're searching. What they're really doing is just playing, because that's what it's all about for these dogs. It's just playing. And when they come across an article that is a scent that they have been trained to identify, they will give a good, solid, passive indication. If you look at Heath over here, and Noddy over there on my left, they'll be rewarded with a click which marks the correct behavior, and then the toy is delivered by the handler.
That's actually a firearm that they've just located there. Right. What we're going to do now is the dogs will move up to the corner of the cones there, and they'll work their way nice and slowly down the line of cones. Now, if you watch the dogs very closely, you'll see how much they examine each part of that cone. They'll work their way up and down. And if the handler feels that they've missed an area, they will redirect the dog back as they work as a team. So they're so focused on what they're doing, because at the end of the day, that's what we call this focus training. You'll see they'll go all the way around this case. They're not interested in each other at all in any way. Busily working around every single corner of that case before they move on to the next set of cones. There we go, nice and busy around the cones. And then they'll come up to the last cone, and we'll have another good display of a passive indication. So the handlers will declare it by raising their hands. Once the dogs are fixed, they'll give a click. There we go. And then reward it with a toy. Well done. Police dog Noddy, police dog Boop. OK, we're just going to clear all these articles away now. And we'll move on to the next little segment of our display. So, have you had a good? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's just not right, is it, ladies and gentlemen? All this security here. Oh. They even steal a kiss. Look at that. What, keep your eyes peeled for these two. They may make an appearance later. Let me know when you see them. That rather conveniently brings me on to the next bit of our display, a property search. Quite a basic exercise for our dogs. But what you're going to see here is PC Carl Dean on my right with police dog Echo. Echo's a, a 24-month-old, so two-year-old German Shepherd dog. And he's going to bring it there, a working team on the streets of Birmingham, Coventry and uh, Wolverhampton. And he's just going to bring her right to the middle of the arena here and set her up to do a property search. Now, like the specialist dogs that you saw, Echo here will be searching articles and will give, when he finds the article, will give a good passive indication. So he'll drop. You want a click reward and a toy there. Now, you won't interfere with these articles because obviously it's important if these articles are involved in crime, we can get DNA from them. So the dogs mustn't damage that DNA in any way. Right. So he's setting the dog up again. Off he goes, nice and happily, working away, finds the article, drops down, click, reward. Simple as that. Well done. Police dog Echo and PC Carl Dean. Well done. OK. We're going to move on to our general purpose dogs and give you an example of, of some of the exercises that they do. On my right, we have PC Harmesh Loy with police dog Justice, rather aptly named. And on my left, again, is PC Carl Dean and police dog Echo. Ably assisted by our two helpers, which is PC Tony Mills, one of our instructors from the kennels, and PC Darren Carmel, again, one of our instructors from the kennels. So they're going to come on now, set themselves up, and we're going to show you four exercises that these dogs have to be assessed on once a year when they're licensed to make sure they're nice and safe to work on the streets of the West Midlands. Now, these exercises are carried out by police dogs up and down the country the first exercise you're going to see is a standout exercise. So an offender will run off from a dog, the handler will challenge, and when the offender stands still, the dog will not engage or bite the, hand, the offender in any way. There we go. You wouldn't want to run off from those dogs, would you? But some people do. There we go. So that's the standout. What we're going to show you now, save the clapping for later. What we're going to show you now is a straight chase. So similar to what you saw with the pups, this is a longer distance. So the handlers will challenge the offender to stand still. The offender doesn't. The dog will be deployed, a good determined chase, a nice attack. There we go. And then the, the, the handler will come and back up his partner. In this case, it's H with uh, police dog Justice. Good element of control there, it's called off from a distance. 
and the offender has been arrested. Okay, I'll just move out the way here. PC Tony Mills is going to run off. Carl Dane is going to challenge. The dog is deployed. Good determined chase. Lovely attack. Look at that. Well done. So Carl's just going to back him up. Ask him out from a distance. Back to his handler. There we go. Now the next exercise we're going to show you is to stop the dog. So the dog could be deployed again like the straight chase, but something could happen that, we're cons that ha we have to stop the dog for. So the dog is deployed, stop there, recalled. Lovely. Very high drive exercise that, so it's great that we can stop the dogs to show that element of control. There we go, so Tony's going to run off. And this one will be a recall. Recall back to the handler, back to safety. They love this exercise, don't they? Okay, the, f the fourth and final part of this uh, little scenario here is this stick attack. Now, the stick attack is a test of courage for these animals. Our offender here will advance rather menacingly towards the dogs and waving the sticks across the dog's head, not coming into contact with the dogs at all, but the dogs will come through this aggression and will detain the offenders. Dogs deployed, there we go. Detain the offenders, the offenders will be disarmed. Dogs will be called off. There we go. That's lovely. PC Darren Camel, Tony Mills, Carl Dean, and H. Lyon, the dogs Justice and Equal. There we go. Right, so we move on to the next part, which is shortly going to be quite an exciting little demonstration for you. I thought you were going to warn me when they came out. Look at this. So we have two armed thugs here, and we are assisted by two of our armed police here, backed up. Backed up by PC Keith Bennett and police dog Scar. Scar is a seven-year-old German Shepherd dog, and is one of our firearm support dogs. So you're going to see a tag and drag exercise here. So Mr. Rangley will turn his back, Scar will be deployed, a good attack on the long line, so he's pulled back into cover, so therefore the other policemen aren't put on offer, or don't have to break cover in any way, well done. Now the reason Scar is a firearm support dog is that as well as being quite sociable, he's also got an excellent level of control. So what you'll see shortly is once Dave comes back up onto his feet, there's a little display of, oh, he's gonna have a tag and tag, here we go. This is how much they love their exercises here. This uh, bite suit is just a great big toy for them. There we go. Off he comes. So what we're going to show you here is the level of control that uh, Keith has with Scar. So Dave is going to be walking around. Keith will do a little bit of heel work with Scar in front of the bike suit jacket here, which is what Dave is wearing, or Mr. Angry is wearing, rather. And Scar will show very little interest in the jacket at all. There we go. So he's walking around with the handler. Good. Not interested. He's not looking up at the bike suit at all. And then what we'll do, Scar will sit, now be sent in to watch Mr. Angry. And when we say that, the dog will come in and bark and hold. So he barks in front of him. There we go. We're not engaging the suit in any way. Keith will drop Scar into a position. 
and then it's rewards for the bite and the bite suit jacket. There we go. Nice release. Okay, so we're going to do that again. This time, David's going to drop down onto his knees, and Scar will hold out. There we go. Now we can work against these dogs quite confidently because we and then we know that they understand the exercise, and they're nice and stable and balanced in front of the helper. There we go. That's lovely. So we're going to have a little bit of a chase now. So Dave is going to run off. There he goes. He's deployed against the offender. Dave's almost out of the arena. Scar gets him. There we go. Again, displaying a good, firm, fixed bite in the bite suit jacket. There we go. Well done. PC Keith Bennett and Police Dog Scar. Okay, we're going to move this on a little bit now. We're going to show you we saw a bit of tag and drag there. With He's gone, mate. He's been dealt with. He's been dealt with. It's Sunday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's not very nice, is it? Right. In the corner there, you have PC Neil Cherrington and police dog Titan. Titan, again, is one of our firearm support dogs. And we're going to show you what we call a passive attack. So we have a, an armed criminal there. He's not going to move away from that weapon, so we don't want to move too close to him. We want to deal with him without causing any danger to our colleagues here. So, challenges will be made. He's not going to do as he's told. Just like being at home, Terry, isn't it? There we go. Good passive attack. Now watch Titan now, because Titan will dig in and will retrieve Terry all the way back into cover. There we go. PC Neil Chennington and police dog Titan. Now, we're moving on to the last bit of our demonstration, okay, which is a, a double dog attack. Now, this isn't something we would do operationally, but it's a bit of fun to show the level of control that we have for these dogs. He's, who's let him go? Who's let him go? So in the corner, we have police dog Titan. On my right here, we have police dog Scar. Dave's going to come into the middle of the arena once he's calmed down. The dogs will be deployed. Good attack. Now Dave will turn round. The dogs will be recalled off the bite suit jacket across each other back to their handlers. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, that now concludes our demonstration for you this afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed what we've put on for you. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.